save, and Bruno just enough room to get to the inside, but not make enough contact to take both of them out. It has been a hard battle, and still 17 laps remaining. It's not done yet. Here comes Bruno one more time to the inside. Not that lap. Bruno continuing to keep that car planted on the bottom, but Scott is keeping his car in a spot where Bruno can't use that bottom line to his advantage. 15 laps remaining. Battle's gonna be on for third here between Koonsman and White further back, but keep your eye on the battle for the front because here comes Bruno in turn one, having a peek. Scott still holds on. Here comes Christian back to the inside, nothing doing. Every move that Christian Bruno has tried to throw at Wayne Scott to this point, Scott has denied. And coming around this time, we're getting close to that 10 lap to go mark. Bruno racing back to the inside off the corner. He's gonna have to really send it in once. Oh, they nearly get together. Little bit of contact, left rear to right front. Down the back stretch this time, but they'll see. 10 laps to go. Now Bruno goes to the high side. Scott tries to cover down the bottom. Gives him a shove under the flag stand into turn one. Wayne Scott in front of Christian Bruno racing back to the corner. Bruno going up high. Now he's going to make the move around the top side. Christian Bruno changes his line and takes the lead with nine to go. Now can Wayne Scott answer? He's going to have to move up by the look of it because Bruno in the clean air looks quicker. Christian Bruno trying to set sail. Half a second the gap last time around. Seven laps remaining this time. The Deptford, New Jersey driver trying to add his name to the list of winners of the battle at the Bullring at Airport Speedway. Pulling away still out in front. Eight tenths of a second. Last thing Bruno wants to see right now is a caution. Five laps to go for car five. The battle between he and Wayne Scott that raged on for almost the entire second half of this race. Bruno trying the bottom each and every lap. Finally moves up a line and was able to get to the outside of Wayne Scott. And now with three laps to go is poised to try and hold on and take victory. Tommy Koonsman holding down third in front of Jackson White, then Jordan Tittle and Sam Locuson, but all eyes on Christian Bruno with two laps to go. He's had a great season of racing, was the champion this year at Action Track USA, former Speed Week champion, got a Speed Week win, and now as he races down the backstretch for the final time, Christian Bruno's going to work his way through turns three and four and take home the win of the Battle of the Bullring presented by 1313 Enterprises and Betts Garage. Christian Bruno the winner. Wayne Scott second and Tommy Koonsman the top three, but it's Bruno who gets it done in the Battle of the Boring.